Hey guys, hello and welcome to Zen Innovations and the ACs which we use at our home are equipped with variety of modes such as fan mode, dry mode, turbo mode and so on. And we are generally very afraid to try these new modes because we don't know how they work and we are afraid that they'll be consuming the same amount of electricity as the cooling mode. So for an example, I have this AC from Videocon, you can check the sticker and the value is 1480 watts. Yeah, that is pretty high. And the energy efficiency rating is 5 stars. But this AC is an old school, non-inverter style AC and this thing was brought in I guess uh, 2014 or 15. And hence this 5 star figure is as good as outdated and it's pretty useless today. So this is what I call a high power consumption AC in today's world. And let me show you the kind of device which I am going to use to measure the power consumption. And here is my power meter. And the large 16 ampere plug of this AC did not fit into the power meter so what I had to do is I had to ring up a bit of jugard in using this kind of little adapter so that I could plug in my AC into the power meter and hence test it. So let me turn on the AC and let's start measuring the consumption. So the button the mains MCB switch is now on and you can see the idle consumption on this meter that is 1.42 watts. The AC is currently off but the standby circuit is drawing power. And this is the reason I recommend that you should always turn off the main switch or the MCB once you are done with the use of your home appliance so that you can save these things. So you can save these 1.4 watts by turning it off from the mains. Alright, let's use the remote and let's turn on the AC. So there we go. And the AC is currently in fan mode at the lowest speed setting. And this is a voiceover video so you will not be able to hear the all kind of beeping and all that. But yeah, you can check it out over here. The AC has started working and it currently shows room temperature. And this is one of the features which I really like. I wish it would start coming with more and more AC. And surprise, surprise, the power consumption is just 32 watts. I am dead impressed guys because I was expecting that the power consumption of the fan motor or the blower would be at least 100 or 150 watts because we can see that the size of the blower is pretty large and the uh, air throw, the volume, the volume of air is pretty good. So that is how this thing works and let's kick it a notch higher. So the current setting is in the lowest speed mode. We'll go into the medium mode. It comes with three different settings. We are going to test all of them. So now I have put the AC in a medium speed setting and let's check the power meter once again. What is your guess? Wow, this is awesome. 37 watts for the AC fan, which is running on the medium speed setting. Guys, what happens is that the kind of fans we use at the home, so ceiling fans or table fans, even they are not as efficient as this thing. And considering an old AC, which is based on non-inverter technology, well, I am absolutely impressed. So this is my good old AC from Videocon. Let's kick the things a notch higher again. So we'll be going full blast. That is the speed number three or high speed mode. You can see these bars on the remote control are now full and we get a very good breeze at high speed. It works as good as a fan you can say. So you can use it like a ceiling fan or a table fan. And the power consumption is getting better. So it's just 40 watts of energy being used. And let me tell you that the ceiling fan which we use is 70 or 80 watts or maybe even 100 watts if it's the older model. And the table fan or the pedestal fan which we use are rated somewhere around 50 watts. So for an example, I have this uh, fan from Panasonic and it is rated at somewhere around 50 watts as you can see over here on this sticker it says 48 to 55 and I am really really impressed that we get this AC running in just 40 watts at full blast and the best part over here is that we get a remote so you can turn this thing on you can turn it off you can adjust the speed you can adjust the swing so you get a very nice advanced high quality fan along with this AC which consumes very little power as well as it's very convenient to use. Plus there's a bonus feature. Now these ACs also come with dust filters inbuilt. So if you've been suffering from you know allergies or breathing difficulties then using your AC as a fan even in the winters might actually help you clear your uh, sinal passages and all. So make sure you consult with your doctor and you might be able to find some relief by using this dust filtration system. Just make sure that you keep it clean and I already have a guide how to keep your ACs clean and how to maintain the dust filtration system. You can find the video over here in the i button 
or you can find the link in description below so what do you think of this kind of power consumption guys are you just as surprised as i am do let me know in comment section below so that's it for this little video take care and have a nice day